Hey guys, uh, this is Modern Composers channel, my name is Denno. Today I want to show you how to arrange your music for films or games or for your portfolio. If you are not an arranger and you started out as a keyboarder, as most of us did. So here's the thing, you have the chords in your hand and you play them on your keyboard, but you do not want to just send them to a string pad. Why? Because it's just not the real thing, it's not like... Uh, if orchestral instrument would play these uh, voices. I show you now how to do it, how to share uh, the, the, the thing you played among uh, orchestral voices. It's not hard, quite simple actually, but first subscribe to this channel. <laughs> All right, uh, so check out these chords I play here on my keyboard with a string pad. Now we know in an orchestra we have violins, violas, celli and contrabassi to play what we have in one or two hands here. I assume that you have string libraries installed, uh, but just for the sake of simplicity, I want to show this to you with quite simple libraries. Many of us do have on their system, that's uh, native instruments strings. Um, okay, first thing, record the sequence and then later we split it up. This is actually quite nice. Uh, the first voice uh, now goes into the violins and uh, let me show you how, how I uh, do that. We have it here. So this is what I played. We should definitely uh, quantize that. Maybe to eighths, although I have sixteenth in here. Yeah, then I quantize everything to eighths. And then also I would uh, I would do that. So that's the first thing. So it looks quite quite okay. The next step is to quantize the lengths because I didn't play this perfectly and for the string instruments we want them to play legato. This means that all the notes are connected. So what I do is quantize the lengths of the notes and I have this on a, on a, a keyboard shortcut here. Uh, so I select everything and then I quantize everything uh, like this. Yeah, I got it on Shift Q. So these are all now quantized. The next step is to find out what are the different voices. Of course I played them with my fingers already, but now we, we have to make it uh, clear what goes to the first violin, what goes to the second violin and so forth. So what I select now is all the first violin, like this, this, this here and this. Yeah, then I have a shortcut to bring my timeline completely to the beginning of the selections. Then I cut it, then nothing can happen. I go to the first violin and just paste it here. Uh, of course we have to do minor corrections. Then what I do is I, I connect the notes as, as good as possible, actually. And just at the end maybe we leave a little gap for this cadenza. So this is the, this is the first the first violin, then we look at the second violin, so I, I again connect the notes here. Yeah. So I already do the editing here. Okay, now I grab all the notes. And then I paste them here. Already I saw some Some other tweaks, okay, we can do. All right, so now we go to the 
to the third voice, I do the editing here, I leave a little gap here uh, and this here, alright, so this is the, the next voice, the last voice is the, the one which remained here. I delete this um, data of the aftertouch when I play the keyboard it uh, happened to be recorded of course we don't need it here um, what we need now is uh, the velocity uh, the levels the dynamics are all down so we record the velocities now so you see when I use my wheel here uh, it is getting recorded. So. Okay, I turn off the loop. So this was the recording of the first violin. I heard a mistake here. Uh, of course we have to uh, correct it. Okay, and this was a mistake. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's it. So now I do the same thing for the other violins. What's the next step? Maybe we want to change the articulation. So this is the big thing in the orchestra. We have many different articulations. In this very simple patch maybe we can introduce another articulation and another voice. So we have five voices here. We can get totally creative now and we don't have to be able to play it with our hands anymore. So um, we can introduce a new voice. I suggest uh, as I did already putting the, um, the, the, the bass voice into the contrabass and now uh, we can introduce a new idea into the celli and I suggest to uh, perform a kind of arpeggio so this means um, uh, uh, sweeping the chords with uh, short notes so we can get a, a little bit of movement in here so I, I record this now and we have to find the key switch for that to change the articulation. Uh, so I open up the celli, then I check out on my keyboards where are the, the key switches so I, I don't have it uh, in mind. Okay, and what I do now, I, I record uh, the spiccato, it's on F. So I just type a F, that's cool. Uh, and now we can start to uh, record um, the, the sequence. Okay, we look at that now, what we recorded here. I want to, no, I want to um, quantize this again.
So I, I screwed it up <laughs> during the process. So this is uh, this is the um, the, um, Now we can have a key switch on the C again. I record it, I, I put it there and also I have to record a Okay. I delete this. Really important is to have To have something here to introduce the uh, volume. So let's listen to the whole thing now. I already did some spatialization to bring it a bit in the stereo field, but it's 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 nothing special. So it's just uh, the, the, we have the the panning here in the in the contact. So that's really simple. Uh, let's listen to that now. So I want to repeat what we did here, uh, first the recording, then we have uh, we did the quantization, then we did the editing, then we split up the voices into different MIDI channels and then we recorded um, a different uh, volume dynamic changes and then we did some key switches. And at the end, uh, it's of course nice to put those instruments on a virtual stage, uh, what we didn't do here, but this is a whole new other story. So you see our little arrangement has five voices here and it's totally valid. Check out the next episode. I will explain how to spice up your string arrangements uh, and your chords. The link will appear here in the description. Like, share, comment and happy composing. Bye bye.